this is a short video on probably everything you want to know about hinges and maybe a little bit extra. So these are the three styles of hinges that we use for interior and inch and three quarter exterior doors. The first one is by volume the most popular, which is an interior hinge. It's three and a half by three and a half wide. This is what we call a common hinge because there is no ball bearing in it. So these two hinges are exactly the same size across and height wise. This one has the ball bearing, this one doesn't have it. So these hinges probably going to squeak a little bit more. The ball bearing hinges are a little bit nicer to operate. This ball bearing hinge is quite a bit of a heavier duty hinge. So when you actually look at the thickness of the hinge, the common hinge is thinner and the exterior or the ball bearing hinge is thicker. The screws to support the hinges are also quite a bit bigger and smaller. So the standard hinge is what most people put on their interior inch and three eighths doors. These screws will last a lifetime. These will last 50 years. The hinges will last 50 years. The reason why someone might want to upgrade to a ball bearing hinge is if they want a smoother entry or if it's a heavier door. So when you order a hollow core door from someone, they may only put two of these common hinges on. But when you get to a Westcon or a Fenster product, our standard is three of these, not two of them. The next consideration with weight is sometimes we'll put not two but three hinges on and some customers spec four hinges. So if you have an extra wide door, it's more torque that's pulling the door off the hinges. So with this hinge and the thicker or the deeper screw, you're just gonna have more bite onto the door. So that's the main consideration. You get a larger hinge, heavier built hinge for a thicker, heavier door. When you bump up to exterior doors, our standard is a four by four inch ball bearing hinge. It's the same thickness as the interior hinge, but the interior hinge has three holes where this has four for four screws. So size wise, they are a little bit larger, a little bit bigger. These are definitely meant for more weight. The main reason is weight. So these are the main three hinges that we offer. When someone has a character home, they may have had it hung from someone else and I'll ask them, is it a ball bearing hinge or a standard hinge? And the reason is because of the thickness of the plate. So I need to worry about how deep I put my routers into the door so they match up and they're nice and flush. For exterior doors, the consideration is in-swing or out-swing. If it's an in-swing door, the pin on the hinge is usually inset into the door. For security reasons, you can't pop the hinges if there's a thief in the neighborhood. On an outswing door, the hinges are on the outside of the structure and a thief can pop the hinges and then the door set right off. They don't have to break the glass or anything. This particular hinge has a little pin right in the middle and that's going to stop people from punching this up. If you were to take a normal ball bearing hinge, to separate it, you can take your pin, in this case it's just the pin into the bottom part with your hammer. And it comes apart quite easily and it separates. Because this hinge has the pin inside of it, it won't do that nearly as easily. It's separated, but it's not out. For this hinge to come apart, you actually need to take an Allen key, remove the security pin, Is that in? 
So once I take the pin, the security pin out, then I can remove the pin from this. So now the pin comes out. So as you can see, there is a shaft that's routed out in the middle and that's to allow the pin to go inside and lock so it won't become out. So this is very much a security feature and done for that purpose versus a normal pin, which doesn't have any router in. So if our standard is to put three non-removable pins into every exterior door. So in terms of aesthetics, you can't tell that a hinge is non-removable unless if you get right up close and personal with it. And even if you were to close it, the only telltale sign is gonna be a little hole just on the outside. Most hinges will not have that telltale sign. So you're looking for that little hole right in the middle of it and that'll tell you if it's non-removable and that's a security feature. So these three screws go into these three hinges respectively. This is obviously the smallest and this is the largest. When you get a upgraded interior hinge, you're getting a lot more pull force and the shaft is a bit larger. So this is definitely designed for larger loads. Exterior is a larger shaft and there's more of them. So you just wanna be aware that you are getting a heavier duty product for a heavier duty door. This is our standard four by four inch and three quarter exterior door hinge. This is four by four and a half inches. And this is meant for commercial applications. In the woodworking world, we don't like this hinge because it has sharp corners on it. We use router bits to carve out all of our plates. And with corners, we have to use a second jig to stamp it out, then chisel the sharp corners out. So it's an extra step for us, so we don't like that. But metal guys really like it because their presses create sharp corners. So again, we can do it, but each industry is gonna have their own favorite thing. When it comes to the renovation industry, you can deal with square corners on like the frame, and then this is a 5H radius hinge on the door. So you can flip flop this between door and frame, and that's just so that things are set up differently. It's, it's an adaptation to allow the homeowner or a retro job to have the perks of both without having to rip out the jam or to match it. So, if this is set up the wrong way, what you can do is you pop the hinge and then the head of the hinge, you can flip it around so that you get the proper orientation on each side. Same thing, this is an exterior ball bearing hinge again. This is the 5 8 radius and this is the quarter inch radius that we use. If you're asking us to do a job or to modify a door, we're definitely gonna ask if it's a 5 8 radius or a half inch radius to adapt each door. This is called a self-closing hinge. Some people might refer to them as bomber hinges. Instead of a traditional shaft like this hinge, it has a spring inside of here. So what happens is this will close automatically the door. So instead of those big commercial applications where you have the big ugly bar on top of the door, this will do the same job and it'll be a lot more nice aesthetically. This is not having any tension right now because you need to put a pin into it and then tighten it. And there's instructions with it if you were to purchase this as an upgrade. If someone asks for self-closing hinge, we have to take an extra precaution because the thickness of the plate is not quite as thick as this one. This is a three mil, this is a 2.7 mil. So we need to retool our machines to make sure that this has a proper set in the depth of the door. We do sell these quite often, but a lot of people don't know about it and they buy those ugly bars for self-closing. This is a concealed hinge. Hopefully we can get some pictures of what it looks like, but essentially this goes inside of the door and inside of the frame. These are the adjustable ones. So it does swing. At a normal hinge, you would see the pins on the outside because it's opening the same direction. But in this case, There is no hinges on the outside, so even though it swings like a normal door, you don't see the hinges, especially when it's closed. So, I was talking earlier about 
the non-removable pin being in the middle because thieves can come up and hit it and all of a sudden your door's off the hinges. You can't do that with these ones. So if you want ultimate security where a thief can't even cut these or anything, that's a lot more discreet, a lot more secure. And what happens is you don't see this hinge from the outside, it's hidden. It's a double actuating knuckle inside and there is adjustments behind the cover plate. So you won't see this because they'll have um, plastic covers on. These are really nice, they're quite smooth. There's a love-hate relationship with them. Some people love them, some people hate them, but if you don't know what it looks like, you don't know what you're getting. So this is what it actually looks, look, looks like as a close-up. The nice thing about these hinges are they are fully adjustable. So you can go in and out, side to side, whereas with a common hinge or a more traditional hinge, once they're fixed, they're stuck. So these are nice because there is those adjustments. These are not as friendly for install, so you have to spend a lot more time making sure the jam's plumb. These are the more European style, which Fenster offers, especially with the windows, as a fully adjustable hardware. This is the North American style, where you have to have a lot of time on your install. Whether you're going a thin hinge or a thick hinge, again, it's all about quality. They all do the same function but so do cars. Cars get you from A to B, it's how you want to ride. Their hinges are much like the same analogy. They'll all do the same job, but one will last longer, one will function better, one will be smoother, one you won't see, some you will see. They're all different and we're happy to help if you have any questions.